What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI. I'm also joined by Mia and today we wanted to do a unboxing and first look of the Microsoft Surface Dial. Now the Surface Dial has been out really only for about a week or two. It was announced a couple weeks ago when they announced the Surface Studio but this is also compatible with the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Now obviously you won't be able to use the on-screen features until the creators update hits in the end of January I believe. <clears throat> but you can also still use this with certain apps. So I'm going to unbox this, see what's inside, and then we'll uh, cut away and just do a quick demo with the apps that are available for it. So um, probably not going to be a whole lot to this thing just because it's a tiny box. <clears throat> but I did get this from Best Buy, so these are currently $99. I saw it advertised on the actual Microsoft website the other day for $89. That was uh, for pre-order, so I don't know if they're actually shipping them from Microsoft just yet, or if you got to get it from Best Buy. Now, if I can get this stupid thing open. Alright. If I can do this without cutting my hand off. So, there we go. Alright, so pretty basic it's just the dial <clears throat> and I'm assuming it comes with the batteries because it said so so um, I think that's really it I don't know if the batteries are in this thing or not I guess there's only one way to find out I guess I'm supposed to take this guy off let's see I think that's all for the box Oh, nope. <clears throat> Underneath this, you got the uh, instruction manual, and uh, that's pretty much it. The quick start guide. Apparently, it's just like the Surface Pin when you buy it. It's actually got the batteries inside. So, with that, we'll uh, go ahead and pair this with my Surface Pro 4, fire it up, and give a quick demo. Okay, so I've got, obviously, this paired with my Surface now, which is fairly simple. You just power on the, the uh, actual Surface dial, and you go to town. But... You can't see it, it's all screen, but right now I'm using it, I'm rotating it left and right. I am in um, Drawboard PDF, which is one of the apps that's compatible with this right off the block. So one thing you can use this for, obviously, is to use it to flip through the pages, and it's fairly responsive. And if you press it, it'll give you different options. So I can long press it, and you can set the dial to what you want it to do. So I can adjust the volume, I can scroll. I can zoom in and out, or I can undo if I want to make note annotations. So let's try the zoom. So there I can zoom in and out of the PDF by rotating the dial. Um, pretty good. Um, and like I said, there's no uh, on-screen functionality for this just yet until we get the creator's update. So you can use it, zoom, I can tap, and uh, go back to scrolling if I want, and just rotate the dial. It actually works really well. Um, obviously, you can do all this with the selections with the mouse, but I think this once you get this in your workflow, it'll actually be a little bit quicker as far as um, working with PDFs and uh, so forth and so on. Now, obviously, as this is out longer, more apps will be compatible with it, but I'm showing you the two main ones that they actually uh, use to showcase this. So you got Drawboard PDF, and then we'll bounce over to uh, Sketchable. And for here, you can do a lot more. Like right now, it's set to zoom. And just by pressing, you can change the different options you can see on screen. And then if I long press, I can set it for what I want. So I can undo. Um, you can change your brush size, adjust the RGB, the different colors, back to volume. But the undo one was pretty cool. So let's see if this will work. Of course, I haven't drawn on this one today, so that's probably why it's not going to work. So let me... Take the pin, I'll just do this to test, and now I should be able to yep, undo that. So it lets you undo the stuff just by rotating it. And again, you can adjust the different brushes if you want. <clears throat> so we'll try the brush, and this gives you the, so if I want to adjust the diameter, I want to adjust the opacity. So just once you pick the main one you want, you just tap it once and it changes the different options. So the angle, the diameter, and color and all that. So let's try the color one. 
So here as I'm rotating the dial, it should change the colors as I do this as well. So yeah, you can see it's changing the color as I'm rotating this and drawing. So that's actually kind of a neat feature. It's a quick way to change the color. And again, you long press it. We can go to the other one. And it's a little more of a dramatic shift in the color change. So this is all just by rotating the, the actual dial. So I can see where this would be useful, definitely if you're an artist or if you like to do a lot of PDF work. Just an easier way to scroll and things of that nature. And there, I can undo it just by turning the dial. And the more I turn it, the more strokes it'll get rid of. So really, is this a must-have accessory? I don't think it is yet. Um, definitely if you got the Surface Studio, but um, the more you try to incorporate this in your workflow, I think the more you get used to it. But um, it's definitely a, a good first start. I think it's kind of a thinking outside the box a neat little device so time will tell and it'll obviously be based on what developers do with this but so far it's a neat little dial I'm going to try and start to incorporate it when I try and draw or uh, use PDFs so with that if you got any questions just leave it in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please do so thanks